We are going to review today Foxconn Nano PC. The model is AT5570. This is a atom based uh, portable PC by Foxconn that comes with a dual core processor. Now this Nano PC comes in an affordable range that offer you a standard hardware configuration. The benefit of uh, using a Nano PC is that you get ample of space uh, saved on your desktop. You can see the size of this uh, portable PC. It comes with all kind of connectivity solution. It also has a graphic card in it. I'll show you that later on. While on the back side are ample of uh, connectivity ports available. Usually this type of mini PC are uh, quite designed for an HD PC which is a home theater personal computer. That PC is specifically kept for media streaming. You can uh, keep all your multimedia files in it, your music files etc. You can connect it on a widescreen TV or a monitor and you can install a media center software like XMBC etc and installed and uh, stream video directly through it. Now there are some uh, uh, more nano PC available in the market that offer you a direct remote connectivity. You can use them uh, through a remote while for this there is no remote available but there is an infrared available through which you can uh, configure universal remote on it or you can simply buy a port uh, portable wireless bluetooth uh, keyboard through which you can control it. AT5570 belongs to the AMD series of Foxconn where there is also a high end graphic card. Now it will be wrong to say that graphic card is uh, graphic card is capable of giving you a high end performance. It is an APU actually. The processor which is used inside this uh, nano PC is dual core C70. It is an APU that offers you a clock rate of 1 GHz which is not really great but standard. The video memory is around 380, uh, 380 MB which is capable of handling all HD videos. While for memory this uh, portable PC offer you 2 GB DDR3 RAM support and you can upgrade up to 8 GB. For internal storage this model comes with 180 GB SATA hard drive which is a 2.5 inch hard drive also you can add a SSD on it. While you can see the dimension here this is a 7 inch tablet and the size of this nano PC is quite smaller than a tablet so this makes it extremely portable to use. In terms of multimedia I think uh, 85570 is enough uh, with uh, the existing hardware configuration while for gaming you can only run standard game on it like uh, Angry Bird or Zuma type of game. It also run high end games but they are very laggy and freezing and being a fanless, uh, being a portable fanless uh, mini PC it gets heat up really fast. So for work like uh, video editing, video conversion, office application, uh, web surfing etc this is an ideal choice. Foxconn uh, Nano PC 85570 has an AMD A45 chipset. Uh, the VGA graphics on this uh, mini PC is AMD Radeon HD 7290 which support DirectX 11. It has a gigabit LAN port, it comes, it offers you a USB 3.0 port also and a memory card reader. The benefit of buying a nano PC is that it offers you a more, uh, more space management. It comes with a simple mounting panel. You can see the one among, the, among them is here. This is the seat base where you can place the nano PC vertically on your desktop. And you can add uh, whatever your monitor and extra connectivity on the back side. You can put it also on the back, on the back side of the monitor. It uh, works really well. Also, uh, the second uh, connectivity, is, uh, second option you can use is a VESA mount panel that comes with uh, that comes in the package. This is the mount panel that you can use uh, on the back side of uh, the monitor. Now, this is the monitor mount panel which comes with uh, uh, two. Uh, these are the holders where you have to fit it on the on this panel, and you have to insert uh, the the mini PC in it. And this is and you can simply use the another panel to close it. Now this is how it looks when you hook it on a VESA panel and you have to use the screws on the back side. First you have to fit the panel on the monitor and then you have to place the mini PC on it. Now once uh, it is connected on the back side of the monitor it is placed in this form where you can see uh, the primary connectivity options lies on the top side while all connectors are placed on the bottom so you have to hook it properly. Somehow these four USB ports are uh, in, uh, complicated to access when it is placed uh, like this on the back side of a widescreen uh, monitor. Foxconn 85570 has a very stylish look here. It has an aluminium enclosure which is lightweight and has a rough finish on the top side. At the front you can see there is a power button. There is a silver power button with a single LED light on it. There's a, there are speakers below that. It comes with an integrated speaker with standard audio output. This is the infrared panel where you can configure infrared devices. 
On the front there are two high speed USB ports which are USB 3.0. These are ideal for transferring large size data and connecting external hard drive. Below that lies a micro uh, uh, memory card slot which is a MMC memory card slot. You cannot use a micro SD card on it. You have to use a full size memory card adapter. There are two audio jacks available and at the bottom we, among which one is for mic and one is for headphone. These are standard 3.5 mm audio jacks. At the back side you can see lies all the connectivity panels among which there are four USB 2.0 port where you can use printer, keyboards etc. Next to that lies the display port uh, among which one is DVI and HDMI. Now this uh, portable PC has a graphic card in it due to which it does not come with a traditional VGA port. It comes with a DVI port and inside the box you will get a DVI to VGA adapter also. While there is uh, no HDMI cable available you have to buy that separately. There is a gigabit LAN port and there is uh, one more audio in jack. This is the power jack. Due to small in size you can simply place it well on a desktop using the seat base. While the second uh, mounting panel is also available that allow you to hook it on the back side of a monitor. So in this way 85.70 looks when you keep on the desk which is the vertical placement of this mini PC. While another way is to use the VESA mount panel and keep uh, and place uh, the, HD, uh, the mini PC on the back side of a monitor. So you can see here there are four uh, holes available where you can connect uh, this VESA mount panel and you can place the mini PC on it. Now you will get a set of uh, tools available with that like if you get this screw so you have to place it properly. So this is how it looks after connecting. Now to add the, to place the uh, mini PC first you have to place this panel. And this is for locking it. Now it is firmly uh, placed on the back side of monitor and you can see it is very less space consuming. So this is uh, one of the most uh, easiest way to use this mini PC on the back side of a monitor. All you have to do is you have to check out the connectivity ports, uh, connectivity uh, holes available means uh, the monitor must support mount panel. You can also wall mount this uh, mon uh, portable PC. Now here you can see the placement of this uh, mini PC in vertical manner where I had connected, where I had kept it on a seat base and it lies on the desk near the monitor. Now the issue lies here is uh, with the USB connectivity uh, for example like uh, you are using multiple USB devices like a keyboard or a mouse or an external hard drive you can simply adjust uh, the mini PC you can turn it towards the back side and you can connect uh, everything here. In front there are only two uh, USB 3.0 ports which are recommended for high data transfer. So this uh, uh, piece, mini PC is quite comfortable for using on a smaller desk also. You can place it uh, simply well on the side of a monitor or on the on the back side also. Now we'll check out the second way of uh, using this uh, mini PC by hooking it on the back side of a monitor and we'll see how, how uh, useful it is to manage different connectivity options.